Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Bowl, volume, volume, episode three. Got up again today at <clears throat> four o'clock in the morning. It's almost six a.m. now. Have a full stomach of breakfast. I'm feeling pretty good. Thought I'd throw a breakfast bowl episode up. My breakfast bowl is a quick draw in my Westminster billiard. I think, um, I don't see anybody talking about Edwards brand tobacco. Um, I know there's some in Georgia. There's, uh, I think in California, San Diego, and uh, of course Tampa, Florida. And nobody talks about their uh, their blended tobaccos ever. <coughs> I'm wondering if uh, they're any good, because <laughs> um, it hasn't really been circulated at all that I know of. And they have a lot of different tobaccos. They have a lot. So, uh, I'll do my part to try to start circulating Edwards, because I'm curious as to what you guys think. This is their bestseller, Quick Draw. <coughs> it's usually printed on there. I guess they, uh, the printer stopped working that day. They hand wrote it. <coughs> Um, I would like, um, to know what everybody's favorite indie pipe maker is. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> I just automatically just got a frog in my throat out of nowhere. Um, I know of, uh, Rick Black and Jake Hacker and, uh, Doran Pipes, um, who else? Hmm. Snuff Begins. I want a Snuff Begins pipe. Maybe I'll win it if he uh, throws it up in a contest. Um, but, uh, I would like to know if, uh, there's other indie pipe makers I'm not aware of. I'd love to, uh, because I'm interested in, uh, getting, start, to start collecting indie pipe maker pipes. Um, I mean, Savinelli's are great, Peterson's are great, they're beautiful, they're pieces of art in their own right, but, um, something about something that is more of a one-of-a-kind, and somebody really, it, 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 I'm not trying to take away from the Peterson's and, and the quality and the care that goes into making those, but... I mean, let's get serious. They there are they are a little more mass produced. They are a little more formulated. You know, they have this formula, um, and models are replicated. Whereas indie pipes, they're pretty much one of a kind. The idea of the moment for that particular maker, right then and there. Um, So, uh, besides the pipe makers I mentioned, is there anybody else uh, worth noting that I should check into? And uh, I think Jake Hacker doesn't even make pipes anymore, or very rarely, is that true? The other day, um, I don't know if you guys uh, use this, but um, I use, when I brush my teeth, um, 
probably since I was in my early 20s, I use a, I use a tongue scraper because I read that 80% of bad breath is on your tongue. So I've been using a tongue scraper since my early 20s. And um, I don't know if I ever noticed this before, or maybe I'm just a little paranoid now that I'm smoking pipes regularly. But two days ago, I scraped my tongue and there was a little blood, like a, just a little dot of blood, and then it went away. But I don't know if uh, anybody else experienced that or if it was because of the scraper. I, I don't remember ever seeing blood before. But if anybody else has ever experienced that, or I don't know. Went out to dinner uh, two nights ago with my girlfriend, and uh, we went to this really nice place called Texas Day Brazil, where they bring the meats to your table. And... Um, <coughs> It was really good. You know, you, they slice different meats and you grab it and put it on your plate. And, uh, they have a really, like, nice buffet bar. I don't know if uh, that's a chain that goes anywhere. I mean, it's a, <clears throat> it's not an indie restaurant. It's not a <clears throat> mom and pop. It's a big time, luxurious place. But we had a coupon. That's why we went. <laughs> she signed up for, uh, she always signs up for the newsletter. She always gets these coupons. It was a good good deal actually I can't afford that shit on my own like the, on the regular although I noticed was a couple of things that were funny when I was in there so I knew I was going to this place that was pretty expensive and uh, it, it's uh, over uh, near an international plaza which is like the rich, you know, area, and, uh, so I decided to dress up a little bit, and, you know, put on a collared shirt, I didn't go crazy, but, you know, nice boots, top, nice, uh, polo, whatever, and I'm sure, I, I, I thought I was underdressed, right, and, I uh, go in there, and, uh, there's, uh, people in there in shorts, uh, with hats on, um, the whole thing, and I'm like, I mean, and there were people in there with suits too, right? But then there were people in there with, um, like I said, shorts and hats at the dinner, at the table, <clears throat> and I was just thinking to myself, you know, what happened to, I mean, is there any etiquette anymore for going out to a nice place? Um, I mean, like I said, I thought I was under this. I thought maybe I should have had like a long sleeve button up collared shirt in, tucked into some slacks or something, right? And I'm like, alright, well, <laughs> like actually I don't own anything that fits me like that right now. <laughs> so that was the best I could come up with, but I, tr I tried, right? Put on my nice uh, cuff and everything, my turquoise cuff, tried to look as nice as I could. And there's uh, people in there with, you know, hats and shorts on. And dress nice, too. And, um, so, I don't know, I just was thought that, uh, I don't know. I mean, at the same time, it made me feel better. It kind of made me feel bad, because I was like, well, you know, don't people, like, care about, don't, I mean, like, it had, like, a really nice host guy, you know, the maitre d' and dressed up in a suit, and he kept coming to the table to make sure everything was good. Like, it was a nice place. Also, what was weird in that place, uh, there was a couple that walked in, and they were seated, and, um, immediately, pretty much immediately, the guy proposes to his girlfriend, and, um, and uh, my girlfriend alerted me, like, look, he's proposing, and I look over, and, okay, I admit, I wasn't the first one, but I, 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 you know, I wasn't the first one to start it up, but nobody started it up. She said yes, 
the guy, the host, the Mater D was filming it for them. He, it must have been a pre-planned thing with the with the uh, the guy. She said yes, and then nobody clapped. And I'm like, so. I mean, all right, I'm guilty because I didn't clap. I didn't start it up. But I don't know. What's the etiquette on starting up a clap? I mean, uh, <laughs> nobody clapped. I felt bad. And I'm not even big on marriage, you know. Um, I, I, I don't, you know, that's not for me. But, it's for other people, and uh, that makes them happy. And, you know, I'm cool with it. And uh, um. It just seemed like two uh, things, parts of humanity, seemed very weird that day to me. On top of the fact that the normal everybody's staring in their cell phones at the dinner table too, with the face glow. So, the world is changing! Yay! It's making it better!